Hey everyone, my name is Marnie. I'm known as Miss Gold Girl here on the social media world. And if you don't know me, I do a lot of traveling. The last few years, it's mostly been road trips, traveling by car, but I used to travel a lot by plane and I'm starting it up again, starting up this month. I not so recently converted over to hard-sided luggage after decades of insisting that soft-sided luggage was the way to go. I picked up my first set of hard-sided luggage from Walmart. It's a brand called iFly, and I've been using it extensively in air travel and road tripping. And then fairly recently, in fact, last month, during Amazon Prime, I picked up the Amazon Basics three-piece set of hard-sided luggage, and I just took that one out on the road. Since I now have been able to use both sets, I thought I would sit down and compare the two and see which one is better, the one from Amazon or the one from Walmart. So let's take a look at the original one first, the original one to me, and that is the iFly Hard Side FiberTech Luggage Set. So this set retails for $249, comes in nine colors. I have it in the champagne gold. There's a large, a medium, and a small suitcase. I will put the exact dimensions for each one down in the description box, so be sure to click the show more so you can see all the details. Basically, the large is 28 inches, the medium is 24 inches, and the small is 20 inches. So the small is small enough to be carry-on luggage, at least with domestic travel. That's my only experience. It has an ABS polycarbonate shell. All suitcases have a set of four double-sided 360 degree rotating wheels, telescoping handles that can be adjusted and held at different lengths. They are all expandable. I believe it's up to two inches if you open up the expanding zipper and they can be nested inside each other for easy storage. So this is the OG to me, this set of luggage very lightweight, very easy to use. I am of the strong opinion that you can definitely fit more in a hard-sided suitcase. You basically get twice as much storage. That is subjective, not an objective fact. Of course, that also could lead to some issues if you're traveling by air because you could easily go over the 50 pound weight limit. So I am also gonna include down in the description box a link to my favorite travel scale, just in case that is a concern for you. Although they say that it's polycarbonate, ABS, scratch resistant, I can tell you that I have dinged up and scratched all of my suitcases. I am not gentle with them, but to get the scratches off, all I need is a magic eraser, wet it, do a little scrub, everything is just fine. As far as actual damage to the suitcase, I have not seen any, no dents, no permanent scratches. They've held up beautifully, whether it's been thrown on baggage claim or thrown in the back of dozens of cars in and out of different hotel rooms. They've held up really well and I've really enjoyed using them. Now let's take a look at the Amazon Basics hard-sided luggage set. So first, if you click on this link, you're going to see that if you click on the three-piece set option, which is what I bought and what we're specifically talking about, the three-piece option in all four colors is temporarily out of stock. Why this is important to note is because it is a temporary out of stock situation, Amazon is still allowing you to add it to your cart at the sale price. It is on sale for $134. It normally retails for 200 for the three piece set. So that's why I am still recommending it right now because it would be great if you're interested in it to snatch it up at the sale price. However, if you want the two piece set in any of the four colors or you wanna buy each piece individually, those are all still fully stocked. So you have a large, a medium, and small, just like the Walmart ones. The large one is listed at 30 inches, the medium at 26 inches, and the small at 21 inches. So if you're keeping score, you're gonna notice that it's listed as slightly longer. I do have the measurements listed specifically, length, width, and height for each one, down to the 10th of an inch, and both sets of luggage were measured with the including wheels and handles. And I will say I took these measurements straight from the manufacturer's websites so that they were very specific. It also lists the weights of each individual suitcase, the Amazon and the Walmart. Lots of numbers there. These are also listed as ABS and scratch resistant. I can tell you they are not, they might be scratch resistant, but they can still scratch. They also have the four double spinner wheels. 
They also have the expandable zipper. I believe it said it increases capacity by two inches or 15%, so same as Walmart. The cases can also be stored inside each other like nesting dolls for ease of storage. The one thing that is very different on the outside other than the actual texture of the suitcases is the Amazon Basics luggage set has the Amazon Basics little plaque branding in the front. That does not bother me in the slightest. Clearly I'm not a luggage snob since I'm shopping at both Amazon and Walmart. That's going to bug some people. I know it bugs my husband. I've seen some reviews on it. I personally think that having a plaque on the outside of my luggage, if I'm gonna check it and it says Amazon Basics, it's telling the whole world I'm cheap. There's nothing that you wanna steal out of my suitcase, leave it alone. But that's just my advice. I feel like the people who are checking like Louis Vuitton luggage or just should put a big sign on the front that says expensive stuff inside expensive stuff out on the outside including the bag please steal me so that's my feeling on expensive branded luggage these feel equally lightweight they spin just as equally well as the walmart ifly ones i should say they're ifly they're not a walmart brand but i bought them from walmart it's the ifly brand is the other brand and these are the ones that i most recently took with me on a road trip where we slept in one two three different hotels across a five day period so they got quite the workout. They did get scratched. I did take a magic eraser to it. We had the same effect. So outsides, while slightly different texture, are very similar. Now let's take a look at the inside of the bags and compare them, so to speak. So I chose to show the inside of the smallest bag just so I can fit it all in the frame. They are identical for the medium and the large size in both sets. So let's start with the iFly bag. Pretty typical for hard-sided luggage. You have one side that can be enclosed with a zipper lid, let's call it, and the other side is wide open and the contents can be secured with a little elastic belt. There's also a tiny little storage pouch along the inside. I don't know what, I've never put anything in there. Maybe you could put cords. I'm, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Tell me what you, if you use that little tiny divider that's in the middle and what do you put in there? The lid part, so to speak, on the iFly luggage has one flat compartment. You open it up and it is wide open. I did just learn this in the making of this video. The whole world probably already knew it, but that zipper that is the, in the lining of the bag, I, I, don't, I never really understood why that was there. Apparently you could unzip that and it basically gives you a double compartment on each side of the luggage. I would put dirty laundry in there, shoes, it just it's a game changer. I, I shared this earlier in stories, quite a few of you messaged me back that you had no idea either. So I'm sharing this new packing hack to those of you that were completely clueless like myself. On the other side, similar idea, it's open. I will say that the little elastic belt and plastic latch is very flimsy, it's very cheap, and that is across the board. It's identical on the Amazon ones. And then it has the same zipper pocket. You have less storage on the open side because that's where the retractable handle is, the telescoping handle, so it's gonna take up a little bit of space underneath. You'll feel those two ridges. That is the inside of the iFly luggage. Over on the Amazon, basics luggage set very very similar the only difference is the little pocket along the inside kind of spine of the luggage looks slightly different and the pocket that goes across the enclosed side has two compartments instead of one big one other than that basically the same concept now let's take a look at how much you can fit in these suitcases. So what I did was I recreated everything I packed on my long weekend trip. I am an overpacker. I pack several outfits. I like extras. I like to pack loungewear for the hotel room. I like to pack my robe. I will even bring along a throw blanket. So let's take a peek and see how each one stacked up. Alrighty, so if you hear background noise, all the dogs are watching me record this voiceover. This is the actual bag and everything that I packed on the trip. Yes, I pack my own barefoot dreams, throw blanket. I never said I wasn't extra, ignore the double negative. So I just have all my tops on one side over there and plenty of room, like so much extra room right now. All the pants, I'm not a shorts girl. And then dog is in the way. There we go. Need a little more room to put all the piles because we are gonna turn around and put it all back in the Walmart luggage next. This is the iFly. Yes, I pack my little robe. If you're interested in any of the links for these things, please let me know and I'll answer that in the comments. 
Those are all my pajamas and slippers, all of my private garments. That pouch has all my travel chargers, extension cords, and so forth. A little jewelry case. Kept it pretty pared down this trip. And some workout clothes. All right, that's all the clothes. Then we go to the zippered portion. I like to keep my toiletries and shoes on the zippered portion. Uh, all righty. Shoes. I packed a pair of gym shoes. We brought the dog with us. I don't always pack sneakers. And then... I did have a third pair, by the way, that I brought on the trip. Those were on my feet most of the time, so they weren't on the suitcase. My go-to travel steamer. Adore it. Uh, my travel makeup brush holder. That is a Colin Rothschild Discovery Kit bag, and that's my shower type stuff. That's my cosmetics pouch. That is a shoe packing cube. There's no shoes in there. That's my Dyson Airwrap and all the attachments. A crossbody bag separate from the purse and the tote that I brought with me and my travel toiletry bag. So there you have it. All empty. I didn't use the middle pocket really for anything. There she is. Now let's put it all back in the Walmart version. Alrighty. So now we have the Walmart iFly bag. She's all ready to go. I wish packing were this simple in real life. <laughs> Never goes quite this smoothly. So just a couple little packing tips. I like to put the heels up against the outside of the bag, like so. Gives a little more room for stacking. This is basically the adult version of Tetris. Of course, it's a lot easier to do this when you've already done this several times. And there goes the cosmetic travel bag. I don't know that I put it all in exactly the same way, but I tried my best. Again, I will try to link that exact bag that's labeled shoes. I can't remember if I got it's been, I've had it for years. I have several sets of packing cubes that I don't use much, I will say. Alrighty. Yes, I just got an email. Okay, I'm just tucking it in under the zipper. I noticed it wasn't as difficult to do that with the Amazon bag. Okay, now let's get all the clothes in. Okay, wait, let's double check. Yes, it's all in there. Now let's zip it up. The dogs are very confused, I should add, because they see the suitcases and they're thinking we're leaving and we are not. Okay, that is my stack of pajamas, and I always pack a pair of slippers for the hotel because the floors, you just never know. Um, and then some workout clothes that, full disclosure, I never wore on that trip, but I did pack them. My little Soma robe, my jewelry case, and there go the tops, and there go the pants, all linen pants. I may have forgotten a couple of things, but you get the idea. All of my intimates, I do like to put in a little storage cube. That's my extension plug-in travel cord and all that. Put the blankie back in. I will say I have washed it since the trip. That's the first thing that happens when I bring a blanket home. And let's wedge it all in. That really wasn't necessary to do. I had plenty of room. Even though there's a little less room in that guy, I did kind of have to smush it down a little harder to get it closed. So it's about an inch or two shorter and that'll make a difference if you're really trying to shove a lot in there. There's my constant companion. He wants to know what's going on. And here I'm just trying to show you that fully packed, um, it's still pretty lightweight. Both of them really are. I'm out of shape and I can still lift it. So there you go. So now we've taken a pretty deep look at these two very budget friendly, hard sided luggage sets. It's hard to pick a standout, but if you wanna just base it on price, Amazon does it better. If you wanna base it on storage capacity, Amazon edges it out just a little bit. If you wanna base it on color selection, the iFly Walmart luggage wins, but I will admit that the color selection is rather limited. They're very young. Not everyone wants the champagne gold luggage. I like it, but my name is Ms. My social handle is Ms. Gold Girl, so obviously I'm partial to gold, and the colors go from there. So the color selection, while there is technically more to choose from, might not appeal to the widest of audiences. So for me, based on price and storage capability, I'm gonna have to go with the Amazon Basics set of luggage because I am not picky and I do not care that it has Amazon Basics labeled on the front. 
But let me know what you think, whether you own both or either of them already. Maybe there's even another budget-friendly set of luggage that you would like me to learn about because I'm always looking to expand my collection. But let me know in the Amazon versus Walmart battle, which one won? Which one would you be more likely to buy? Which one would you be more likely to use on a trip? And especially, I wanna hear from you if you happen to own either of these sets of luggage. Let me know the pros and cons. We're here to help each other out with our shopping decisions. I hope you enjoyed this deep look at Amazon versus Walmart. I would also like to know one more thing. Let me know the next battle you would like to see. This was really fun to make. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to check the description box for all the information on the suitcases, the big stuff that I packed in there, and what I am wearing. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.